Back to Rick Semler and Marty Ledbetter. Welcome back to In the Paint. Sullivan's 3-0 start has earned the Arrows a spot in the 3A rankings. They're currently ranked 15th in the polls. Sullivan was looking to stay unbeaten as they hosted North Putnam in the WIC home game. Start of the third quarter, Arrows get the ball in the low block to Kevin Palmer for the lay-in. Arrows stay on top. You know what? I would keep doing that if I were them. Spoiler alert. Later in the third, nice dribbling from Randy Kelly as he blows by his defender for the lay-in. Arrows adding on to their lead. Later in the third, Sullivan going back to their big man, Kevin Palmer. He has all conference written all over him, if you ask me. He cleans this one up and puts it back in for a bucket of his own. Later in the quarter, hey, if it's worked up to this point, why not keep going to the well? Palmer puts in another one. He finished with 26 in this contest as the Arrows go up to go on to pick up the conference win over North Putt as Sullivan takes this one 62 to 58. Northview is still searching for their first win as they were at the Green Dome to take on WIC rival West Vigo first quarter. Check out the step back three from Caleb Swearingen. He'd go on to finish with 21 in this contest. Later in the quarter, great biking ball movement leads to a Caleb Hannes corner three. <laughs> Tie things up early. You know, he can do more than baseball. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> it was raining triples early in this one, Dom, as Cade Bryan joins the three-point parade with that three-pointer. An umbrella. Later in the quarter, Zion Stevens with the pretty up and under for the Vikings lay-in. He doesn't need a three-pointer. West Vigo trails by two. Northview goes on to pick up their first win of the season as they beat West Vigo in the Green Dome 54 to 46. Dom? First year head coach Daniel Crabtree has North Knox off to a 2-2 two two start. Three of the Warriors' first four games have been decided by five points or less. North Knox was expecting another tough game tonight at Shackamack. Laker head coach Nate O'Neill gearing is up for this one. North Knox with some great ball movement early. Braden Horde bangs home the three ball later. Off the Laker miss. Warriors get the rebound and push it up the floor to Holtman Dodes, who finishes the fast break layup. Lakers now inbounding underneath the basket. They reverse it around the floor. Comes back around town to the top of the key to Carson Jared again. And boom goes the dynamite. Shackamack has it again. They miss a three. The Warriors try to save it. They do so, though, right into the arms of Guyler Gorby, who Ooh. puts it up and in for the Lakers. But it was North Knox who gets the edge tonight in this one. The Warriors edge Shackamack 57-53 in a tight one. North Knox improves to 3-2, and two, tying their win total of all last season. It only took them five games this year, and Coach Crab Crabtree has to be happy about that. Both Vincennes, Reve and Washington Catholic were looking for their first wins of the season. They met in Vincennes. Look at Reve's Charlie Niehaus get to the rim and score. Reve has it again. This time, Cedric Schlees drains the three ball. It was the Patriots' night in a big way tonight. Reve gets it in the post to Trayvon Taylor, who does the rest. He puts it in. The Patriots get the W at home tonight. Vincennes, Reve wins in dominating fashion, 53-14 against Washington Catholic. They win their first game of the season. Coming up, we'll let you know if Marshall and Casey Westfield could continue the Red Hot, Red Hot starts. Plus, we have girls WIC action from Sullivan and West Vigo. That's next on In the Paint. 